Hi everyone, in this video we'll be doing a distro review of Zorin OS 6 Lite. It's a nice user friendly looking distro, probably aimed more at new users, people with probably lighter weight systems, maybe something that's like 10 years old. Not much memory to run the full blown version of Zorin or like Ubuntu. So Zorin OS 6 Lite is based on Ubuntu 11.10, comes with the lightweight LXD desktop. There's a few unique applications installed on Zorin. So we've got the Zorin look changer, so you can easily change the look at the desktop. So at the moment we're using this Mac interface. So we're just going to swap to the Windows 2000. It says, please re-log in to apply changes. Let's do that. We should just log out. And now we log back in. We've got the Windows 2000 style theme. So some of the other software that you get is the there's a small software center that they've put together with a few key applications that you can install. So you've got Wine, VLC, a games pack, spreadsheet, that's just junior numeric, MT Paint, and the lightweight media center. It's perhaps a bit unnecessary to have that included because there is already a software center on this distro. I'll come to that in a bit. The other program we've got is a browser manager. So you can install a different browser. So by default it comes with Chrome installed. So you could swap to Firefox, Chromium, Opera or Midori. That's really the unique software that they've included on this distro. The other useful feature they've done is installing Flash Player and some codecs. So you can really use this distro out of the box. So we'll just go on to YouTube my name and ah, we'll try a video out, we'll try the old Zorin OS 5, why not? Now I'm noticing this is very laggy to open up new videos and you sort of may think well it's YouTube, it's about standard for it really. Uh, actually not anymore now because I've now got 40 meg broadband and on my main system this flies along on the internet. So yeah, perhaps a bit slow on the internet usage. So let's take a look at what they've installed in Zorin OS 6 Lite. So under accessories, just got a few basic accessory programs here. So you've got an archive manager, calculator, character map, file manager, leafpad text editor, notes program, and a terminal. Under graphics, we've just got document viewer, image viewer, and simple scan. Under internet, so I've got a Chromium web browser, the Internet Browser Manager, Pigeon Internet Messenger, and Postler Mail. Okay. Under Office, it's just really basic here. You've got just Abbey Word, a Contacts Manager, Dexter Contacts, and an Osmo Personal Organizer. Sound and Video, so you've got Audacious Music Player, Disc Burner, and Media Player. What's this going to be? Uh, Gnome M Player. Now the system tools, I'm not going to read all these out, but just to sort of make the system a bit easier to use, so they've installed the firewall configuration, the, the GUFW firewall. And we also got the Windows wireless drivers, the Endis wrapper in driver installer. Now to install software, I got the Lubuntu Software Center. I noticed this was being pretty slow to react, so if I just put in Firefox, uh, come on, I've already finished typing. Right, okay, got there in the end on it. So click for more information about it. Okay, so to install we've got Add Apps to Basket, the Apps Basket, and then we can go Install Packages or Discard. Pop in your administrator password, and you find that's easy enough to install all the programs that are included in the software center. And there's quite a variety in there. Don't know how many we have got, but I think it's about 30,000 in Ubuntu. So yeah, quite a wide choice. Internet was a bit quick at that time, perhaps. Oh, apps installed successfully. And sure enough, if we go over to Internet, we've got the Firefox web browser right there. One last neat feature that I noticed that they've included is a text to speech. Welcome to G Speaker. Oh, welcome to G Speaker. 
Very nice, very nice. Good news, everyone! So we have a variety of uh, accents you can choose from. I was just going to stick with the English voice. Good news, everyone. No enthusiasm there. Anyway, that's a look at Zorin OS 6 Lite. Right, so here's what I thought of Zorin OS 6 Lite. So yeah, easy to use, well, it certainly is. It's ready to go right out of the box. And it's easy to install with the graphical user interface installer that you get. So styling, uh, was about average really for a light system. But it's good that they have the look changer, so you can switch between a Windows 2000 and Mac interface. Uh, about average really for customization and boot up speed. On the bugs, I did notice some network speed issues and that it was definitely slower to load pages and YouTube videos compared to my compared to other Ubuntu systems. And bearing in mind I've got 40 meg broadband now, so it was definitely a bit of a latency issue there. Uh, the selection of pre-installed apps, uh, they probably could have done with the G numeric to go along with the lightweight Abbey Word. And perhaps their internet browser manager and their own software center could have been combined into one application. It was a bit unnecessary to have the two applications, for, instant, for instance. And the number, number of apps available, it's about average really for an Ubuntu type distro. Uh, but let down at the end here with the 32 and 64 bit versions, it does only have the 32 bit only system. Perhaps though, it is a light system, so you don't necessarily want the 64 bit, but it'd be good to have it as an option. Anyway, so overall, the good point, so it's ready to go right out of the box, and it's ideal for someone new to Linux, running an old spec machine. It's also great if you want either the Windows 2000 or the Mac type styling on a lightweight machine. But the bad points, it is very basic compared to the Zorin OS 5. It would be good to see what Zorin OS 6 comes out with. I feel they very much kept on the side of lightness and basic, and lost some of the features and good styling looks that Zorin OS 5 had. But overall, 75% is still pretty good for a lightweight system. So, thanks for watching, see you later.